Hello everyone, this is Kyle Grantham with River Geeks. Today we're going to go over how to set up your Mannings for a HECRAS 2D model. So here for our land use, we have the NLCD layer and we have the channel incorporated into the uh, land use. So if you don't anticipate changing a uh, uh, whatever land use you modify within the, the base land cover layer, you're going to use the classification polygon. Um, if you're looking at proposed runs where you're going to be modifying the land use, you're going to want to use the, uh, let's show that. You're going to be wanting to use the calibration regions. But for now, we are going to focus on the classification polygon. So I'm just going to create a sample polygon layer and just, just to show you. So let's just say this is part of the channel. And then so once we finish that polygon, you edit the value and you can give it, you know, a classification name um, for this we're just going to call this the main channel and so now I'm gonna go ahead and save this and so you can see that the land co cover that I created has been uh, merged into the NLCD layer. And so you can also, if you have a land cover, it's a shape file, you can import that shape file. And all you do is go to classification polygons and you can import features from shape file. So let's move on to what if you have some proposed alternatives where you're going to be looking at alternatives where you may have uh, a parking lot or um, somewhere the land use is going to change and it varies for each geometry, you're going to use the calibration regions. So now I'm going to show you how to edit uh, the calibration region and just, just briefly discuss how that works. So let's just create our big old parking lot. Okay. So you have two columns. You have your base override Manning's in and then your Manning's in region one. So we just created this region, the Manning's region one. This Manning's, this base override applies to the, your whole lane cover layer. But if you're just wanting to change the land use within your um, within your uh, polygon, you'll update that in your Manning's region one. So for this instance, if we're wanting to change, so you can see based on the land cover, there's multiple different land types within this polygon. Um, to my knowledge, there's no way within the calibration region to change all these areas to a uh, developed uh, or a certain um, land use, for example, developed open space. Um, so if you're wanting to change this whole polygon to a, let's say, a parking lot, the best way to do that is you'd select this whole column and then you would just assign it that Manning's. So we're just going to go with 0 0.016. And then we're going to click OK and save. So now when we look at those final end values, you can see where you can see the different land types, but it's being applied that value, that Manning's value based off the parking lot.
Also, I just want to sh- go over kind of um, where we arrived at our in values. And so we determined these in values from the HECRAS 2D user's manual. And you can see there's an in value range. So you're just going to apply that value based off pictures or um, your site visit. Um, so you're going to use your best knowledge to determine that in value based off the HECRAS 2D user's manual. So that does it for today's episode. To sum this up, you're, if you're uh, not going to be changing the land use for all your runs, let's say, for example, the channel, you're going to update that channel within your main map, which is your main land cover in that classification polygon. So that's where you'll update your channel in the classification polygon. But if you have multiple geometries where uh, the Mannings is going to change, you're going to want to use those calibration regions. Thanks again for following along. I hope you are able to benefit from this video. If you want to watch more similar content in the future, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.